Hi, Seriousness here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 87, and you can see I've done a bunch of off-camera off progression. I've done two reincarnations, I can get all the way to 50. And uh, you can just see all this random spell tier stuff that I guess it's kind of useful. But yeah, um, reincarnation, I haven't done the new challenge. I, I did take a look at it. It's this, or I didn't even take a look at what the challenge is. I just, I just it, oh, it's dragon challenges. And apparently you're supposed to do, I, I was just like just asking about general progression and they said, um, or actually, I was asking about artifacts, and they just said, Dragon Challenge 2 at Reincarnation 55, so I guess that's what I'll do. Um, but that's the second one, so um, that's that. And yeah, nothing interesting unlocked Reincarnation 49. Re Reincarnation 50, the only kind of interesting thing is, it says your Reincarnation power will improve. The Reincarnation 1 power, I'm not sure which one that is, but it just says to multiplicatively increase faction coin find chance even more. So I'm guessing it's just combining this with this. And it's like, um, or maybe, yeah, I guess it's just going to be, it's just a, a multiplicative faction coin find chance boost. So I'll take that, and also it unlocks me a trophy. 50 reincarnations, which gets me up to around 750 trophies. That's that's five sixths of, of all the trophies in this game. I mean, granted, they aren't making any more. They are making more artifacts though, so <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm guessing oh, new set of challenges. But I'm guessing the set of challenges is just Dragon Challenge Two. That I'm supposed to wait for reincarnation 55 anyway. I also did see some. Uh, there was a couple of new research upgrades, but I haven't actually looked at them because, well, I can. This build definitely can get me up to reincarnation 51 or even 52. So I guess I could just do another off camera um, reincarnation. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do the challenge this reincarnation. I mean, I guess I could take a, a brief look at it just to see when I should do it. It says. Um, the Titan Leader has approached you with an offer that you cannot refuse. He used the hell of your draconic allies to guard its domain, enlightening himself, um, one chain your riches. It's just, um, Titan as base faction, Dragon's prestige faction. I'm already doing that. Dragon's roar upgrade pur purchase. I'm guessing that's just one of the dragon upgrades. Um, completion of the other challenge. I've completed all the other challenges. And then it says, have at least 6,500 halls of legends. You mean Olympian Halls? Because that's what... I, I'm sure it's Olympian Halls. I mean... Yeah, I I mean... I was just checking my buildings, and I think I've gotten like 6,100. This is just something that's going to just come naturally. If, if that's the challenge... I don't even have to focus on it. It's just something that's going to... I mean, maybe you have to just skip out on getting the upgrade that makes... Um, well, actually, I, I can even just use trophy, or I can just use, like, one of the research upgrades to, like, that gives you more buildings. And, yeah, that that's an easy challenge. In the meantime, I'm just gonna, you know, grind a few more reincarnations and see what these new research upgrades are. Maybe there's gonna be even more of them. So, yes, in a bit... Okay, I'm back. Um, you can see Reincarnation 51, and actually, last Reincarnation, there is an artifact here. I kind of skipped the whole saga of this. It's just, essentially, it's just, it, the, the hint was found in the worm stands, and it was like 0 0.03 to 0.04% chance um, per, like, excavation. And I was, I got pretty bad luck, but I was able to, I couldn't get it in the first Reincarnation, even though I had like a 78% chance of doing so, but I got it this time. So, um, yeah, and also that seemed to give me a trophy for artifacts. So, um, that, that's nice. Also, I completed the challenge just by getting enough buildings here. Um, and the reward is multiple could increase um, faction coin chance by 12% per lightning, lightning strike tier bot. Okay, that's pretty good. And um, I don't see anything with the the new artifact I just got here. That's kind of disappointing. Also, just for this run, I used E290 just to get more excavations. And actually, um, 
I didn't I barely I didn't even notice this until I reincarnated. I got really close. Like this is essentially the amount of excavations I got last reincarnation, maybe a little bit more. I actually didn't even use E290, but that's fine. I got to like 4400 something reincarnation or not reincarnations, excavations, and I'm sure that last reincarnation this was at 4500. I could have literally grinded there and actually did the free reset. For the first time, actually doing the free reset, but we're not quite, quite to that place yet. Um, also, somehow, Dragon's Breath just activated again. I don't know how. Maybe it's the Dragon's Fang? I don't see it anywhere here, but um, or maybe it's the Spell Tier. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it's, it's probably the Spell Tier. Um, so the red bonus is the best just because I, I calculated the green, it doesn't say the green bonus, but I calculated and it's like a double production boost. It's like no better than blue boost. So, um, the black one's really bad <laughs> and the white one's also pretty bad, but the red one is amazing. So yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's cool to get, get that boost. Um, there's also a bunch of other research upgrades I haven't even really noticed here. Well, not I've, I've noticed them, but, you know, haven't really done anything with. Um, I mean, the exclamation point ones are just, you know, stuff I haven't even done. That This one looks like all I need to do is just continue my run for just a little longer, and I will be able to <laughs> get that one. Um, I don't know why all my spells are so expensive right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Don't I have a bunch of researches that cheapen the spell? Maybe it's maybe one of the e researches that I don't have cheapens the spells. I, I, I still don't know. Um, yeah, I guess I probably should um, like look at some of these. Like remove one ascension penalty from Royal Exchange. Price. That seems really good. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if it's, re if it's removing an ascension penalty, it's good. And then this is increased production of all buildings based on. Max mana, and it's like a crazy amount. It's and remember, this is um with this game, unlike the new game minus X mods, what it's saying is actually true. Where like here, it's like it does the ascension nerf, and then it tells you the number. Versus in those games, it tells you the number, but then it's like dilation nerfed, and it's 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 almost the same as the ascension nerf. <laughs> um, it's like the same kind of idea. Um, and this is probably just mana regen, and I mean, um, this is probably just buildings. This one, um, reduce rail exchange cost multiplier, doesn't even tell me how much, so that that's really really helpful. Um, this is excavations, and this is spell duration, and I have, and I'm nowhere near what I actually need for that. So yay. Um, I guess, like, you know what, we're just gonna excavate, um, uh, we should at least, yeah, we should get this, that's kind of what I was going for, and I also just wanted to, you know, just for fun, <laughs> okay, I, 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 there's no real reason to do this, I'm, I'm not going for any, any artifacts, but <laughs> just the fact that I can do that is kind of nice, and also I got this, so, reduce spell cost for higher tier spells, I'm really not sure how much that does it, and it's, is it really even all that useful? I mean, like, even though these spells are way, are way more expensive than I remember them being, um, they're still pretty cheap in the grand scheme of things, just because they last, like, five minutes at least. So, um, I guess, I guess I'll just, you know, uh, maybe just get enough buildings like this and this and just get everything I can and that. Um, okay, that's probably not going to be enough, but you know, this is something that's just going to come naturally. So, yeah, I guess, I mean, I'm not sure if I even should show you this run. Oh, I keep, keep doing that. But, yeah, um, I'll, uh, this build is enough to carry me to the end of this reincarnation. But I think next reincarnation, I'm going to make a new build. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few reincarnations later, 
Reincarnation 53, to be exact, as you can see here. And, I mean, you can see, I mean, I've been able to progress, and there's been a couple of new researches I have unlocked. I think there was one that I did off camera that required 80,000 buildings, which I was just barely able to get to by grinding a little bit past the amount of gems I needed for the reincarnation. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I use, like, one of the e-researches that, like, reduces the cost multiplier for stuff, but whatever. There's, there's new ones I can possibly unlock here. Yeah, so 1431, it looks like I've already unlocked a couple. The only ones I have not unlocked are this one, which is still 0% somehow, even though it lasts 5 minutes. 6 minutes, actually. And then this one is, this has to be like the mana one. And I'm really not sure how much I would need mana regen. I mean, I was also looking here. And this secret trophy is called Spell Cataclysm, and perhaps it's just caused by, like, crazy high mana regen, which I could try to make a build that involves that. But, yeah, let's just see what the new research is that I've unlocked here. So there's, I think I've already seen this one, Reduced Royal Exchange Cost Multiplier, I'm not sure by how much. There's this, which is Increased Production of Each building by 0.3% per building of the same type. So at like the standard 6,000 buildings like of each type, that is, what is that? That's like um, 0.3 times 6, so it's like 1,800%. Yes, this is a must-have research. And then this is Ascensions count 50% more for Spiritual Surge, which really counts for, okay, I guess... It's probably good. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it's good. Whatever it is. And then there's increased gem grinder bonus based on the amount of artifacts you found. It's 166%. I'm not exactly sure. I think this is multiplicative because if this is additive, it would be a joke. So, um, yeah, I think that's good. It seems like the new ones are all really good. Increase the chance to find faction coins. Um, but there's a multiplicative 200 percent in there, which makes it good. Increase max mana based on the amount of clicks made in this game. So this means if I just spam clicks, my max mana would go up by a lot, which also means my mana regen. So this is interesting. I'm not sure if I should get you know these. I mean, I kind of want to make a mana regen build at this point. Just like just 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 for the heck of it, um, I isn't it like this one? Yeah, it's it's we're going back to Dwangels here, just for the mana regen. Like I'm not really gonna put all that much thought into it. I'm just gonna do stuff that increases you know mana regen, and that's it. And of course like max mana as well because that also is a lot. So I'm just I'm just literally getting everything that is. Like anything that's related to manner um, regeneration or anything that helps you get manner. I, I just got this while I was at it just to see how much it do it. It's only about a 30 to 40 percent increase. Actually, maybe only actually it's more like 30 percent than 40 percent. So that's not really a good choice to make. You can see my manner regen is kind of ridiculous right now. 330,000. We're also going to test out um, this one. Right now, 272 of each Royal Exchange. What if I buy all that? What am I? 335. Okay, so it's not all that powerful. That's what it looks like I'm getting. Like, maybe 20 to 30% production boost, or maybe some synergies involved with this, but still not all that great. Okay, this is, I got everything I could here. Well, actually, there's a couple new ones here, but I'm guessing these don't really make a massive difference. I mean, I guess I can get a couple of stuff, but I really don't think it's going to matter much. I'm just going to, I will get double iteration, even though I don't think that's going to help me get any of these resources. Like, I'm up to about 550,000 mana per second, which I, I think that's a record? I, I, I hope that's a record. 
Um, I mean, it's unfortunately this is not enough to get spell cataclysm. Actually, there's there's one research, one of the new ones, increased mana regen based on excavation. So I'm just gonna max excavations. Um, but even with that, I also have E290 in there just because. Um, even if I buy max of that, it's now up to like 590,000. But not much more than that. I mean, yes, I will be able to get this in like a few minutes. But I, I don't know. I Maybe I was hoping for something a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm being greedy. Actually, if I purchase some buildings, I can probably get a whole bunch of mana regen this way as well. Yeah, I can. now it's up to 600,000. I think I was kind of just hoping to get Spell Cataclysm. What if it's 1 million, not 1 million, 100,000 spells per second? Because I'm at like 90,000 per second. And if I get that up to 680,000, then I do get 100,000 per second. Anyway, here we go. We got this, and it's just... I was, I was worried it's going to be, a, like, a really good mana regen one, but it's just gain assistance based on mana produced in this game. And, I mean, it's okay, but I don't think it's worth it. At this point, I'm just tempted to get all the way up to 680,000 mana regen just so I can try to get 100,000 spells per second. Also, well, on the way, we can see... Um, almost six, 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 six. Except it just went to four, 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 four right as it would have done that because, of course, it would do something like that. Also, this is now up to one percent, which tells me that it's not based on spell duration, but more just casting it over and over and over again. Which I think I'll do this one when I'm grinding other spell tiers. I, because like there's just a couple of spell tiers I need to do, and since this is Call to Arms, which is like with any faction, I'm I'm just gonna hold off on that. Actually, perhaps I can just use Ruby upgrades just to get my mana regen up. Why not? There we go. There's our um six hundred eighty thousand mana per second, and it doesn't. It's not enough to get me spell cataclysm. I don't know why I really thought this is 100,000 spells per second. Or not 100,000, 10,000. I can't do math sometimes. Whoops. Anyway, um, next episode I'm going to make a new build based on the researches I unlocked in this episode. And this should be enough to get me to Reincarnation 55, which is apparently the next thing that's somewhat different from just the regular get researches, make new builds, and whatever. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.